now that we've turned the inventory window into a prefab, let's first click on it and change it to inventory. And there are the three inventory objects. And now what we need to do is we're going to need to create a key to instantiate the inventory. So just like uh, in a regular game, there's a certain button you hit to open the inventory. So let's go to Battle Flow, and we'll put it with all the other key codes. since it's the same key will be to open or close. Save that. Go to our GM object that script is attached to. And there we go, inventory toggle. Let's make it the letter I. Go back to our script. And now we need to create an object for the inventory itself. So that's just the checking for the keystroke, the key press. Now we need to actually create an, a variable for the inventory. Again, new object appears, so let's take that inventory object, put it there. So by doing that, the GM object is now aware of the inventory object, and we now have a key which, although has not yet been linked, we have a key to be utilized to in instantiate or, as the player would say, it, open the inventory. So. Let's put this at like, we'll put it off to the right side. And again, we want to use the rotation of the object itself. Okay, let's do that just as a test. Okay, no error messages. I'll hit the I key. Beautiful. So, a couple things. Uh, we're probably going to want to move this down into the right because it's kind of in the middle of everything. And we probably want uh, some kind of text that also says that this is an inventory. So we might want to add one more 
text item that says inventory, but for the moment, that's okay. So, let's see what's next. Now that we've been able to open the inventory, we need to close it. So to close it, we need to have an awareness that it's open in the first place. So you know what that means, another variable. And as you can see, as this is building out, you can see just how many variables we have. And that's just this one script. So like we said from the very beginning, everything is driven by variables. So let's take So we're going to create a string variable and it's going to have two st uh, statuses. Or it's going to be open and close. So we'll just call it inventory status. And by default it's closed because your inventory is closed when you first get into battle. Save that. And now what we need to do is we need modify this. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a second condition and we're going to check for that variable that we just added. So and battle flow dot Inventory status. Uh, it's not here yet. Probably because I didn't save it. Mm, it doesn't like it. Oh, IN status, that's why. IN status would be usable too, but might as well have it be meaningful. Inventory status is equal to close. Then instantiate it. So if it's closed, then you open it. And so that means we need to now toggle that variable. To open. So if the variable is set to close and the I key is hit, then open it and change the variable to acknowledge that it's been open. And now we need to do the opposite. If the key is pressed, we don't have to change that, but here we have to change if it's, uh, if it's open already. We don't want to instantiate it, but we do want to change the status close, and we're not actually going to put the close functionality here, we're going to put it on the inventory object itself. And let's go to, now the inventory object itself does not have any scripts on it. So let's give it its own, I could use a pre-existing one, but we don't want to get them getting too complicated. So, um, not to mention that depending on how complicated your final project is, you may find that you're going to do a lot with this inventory. Like maybe the ability to sort, the ability to drag and drop. So you might want to have a script that handles all that, rather than being mixed in with a, a much larger set of tasks. So let's go ahead and open that up. I just call it inven INV control. And what we want to do is if battleflow dot 
inventory status equals close then destroy game object Let's run it. Then hit the I button. Oops, close too fast. A couple ways to fix a cascading issue like this because basically what's happening is the same pass through it's saying the key has been pressed, closed, so open it up, which then makes this. This true because inventory status is set to open, it's detecting that key up, and then immediately closes. So basically it's staying open for like a single frame. So a um, couple ways to go about this. Either way you have to make this a little bit more complicated. You can either put in something that makes it wait one turn, which means you're going to have to use another variable, or we can just use another key for closing the inventory window. Six one way, one half dozen the other. Uh, the delay makes it a little bit easier for the player. Using a different key makes it slightly harder, uh, but it's also slightly easier. So let's just go ahead and put in another key code. had hoped to do it with a single one, but really don't want to spend a lot of time on something as simple as this. So we'll save it, go to the GM object, and we'll just make this the letter O. So again, if you want to take a, a crack at it, and basically you would create a, a variable that gets toggled here and then this one would have to also check for that value so it'd have to check to see if the key has been pressed it'd have to check to see if uh, the inventory is open and it would have to check this new whatever this uh, extra variable is that you add or it'd have to say okay and if that is not true then go ahead and close it and then what happens is at the end of the frame you would then add the code that says okay now change that code so in other words it would force a second key press like I said it, either way six one way one half dozen the other this is a little bit less user friendly but again this is for demonstrative purposes and, and not a production level game all that is in the uh, if you've got certainly the time and the resources to make that kind of uh, uh, tweaks and polish. Because the alternative is this. And now it should work. So, uh, inventory close. Sorry, I just made up something that does not exist. Also, uh, between breaks, I skipped ahead and I moved this over like I said I was going to. So, I to open, O to close, I to open, O to close. So, it makes it slightly harder on the player because rather than having a single button to toggle, you're using two. But look how easy it was to fix. And that's kind of the temptation when you're making an application, a game, or some other kind of application is what's easy to code versus what's easy for the player.